Hi y'all, this is So So Blessed. Welcome to The Blessed Place. How y'all doing? Happy Tuesday. So, um, I'm on my way to work. So, speaking of travel, um, many of you watched my interview of Danica about her travel abroad to um, Colombia. So, thank you all for watching that interview and all the you know positive responses from that. So let's talk a little bit more about travel. Let's get into some story time. And I'm gonna just share with you a few of my travel stories. So I am not per se a traveler. I'm not a wanderluster as uh, they call it this day, these days and time. Um, people like to wander all over the world or have that lust for um, travel. I don't particularly have that. But I do love going places. Particularly, I love cruising. So basically, any country that I've been in, it's been because of a cruise for the most part. Except for that time I went to Jamaica. And I flew. We flew to Jamaica. So we'll get into that. So let me just share with you all a couple of story times. Most of them, I'm sure, will involve cruising because, again, that's how, that's how I travel around the world. Um, how do you travel around the world? First of all, do you like travel? Do you like travel? Share with me some places that you've been. If you have a a, a great tr uh, or funny travel story, please share that. Um, I'd love to hear about your travels as well. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here or you just keep coming back because some keep drawing you to the blessed place, but you have not pressed that uh, subscribe button, why not? please do okay so I remember one time you guys I went on a cruise with my girlfriends now let's start by my first cruise my first cruise ever I was in 11th grade and I went with um, my schoolmates and I remember we went on the big red boat Y'all could not tell me I was not on the Harmony of the Seas or Symphony of the Seas when I was on that red, big red boat because to me it was humongous until we docked one night and the next, and I, I, I hadn't gone outside when we originally docked, but by the time the next morning when I went outside and realized, you know, that we had docked and we were about to exit off the boat to go and enjoy wherever, probably was Bahamas or Mexico or somewhere. And I look at the boats beside us or the ships beside us and re that's when I realized we were on a boat, <laughs> the big red boat. And these were ships <laughs> that we were parked or docked beside. And that's when I first realized that there were different size boats because I, I could have sworn the boat we were on were mass was massive. Um, that was my first experience, 11th grade in Mexico, because I remember I met this nice little Mexican. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I was grew, I was grown in 11th grade. I hope my mama don't watch this. Um, so then my next cruise, um, I remember going with some co-workers. And I was not even particularly close to these co-workers. And but they I remember it gone on a cruise in 11th grade and it just it just set the course of my life when it comes to travel. I knew I wanted to travel on, uh, by way of cruise. So, um, I remember Derricka was probably about one or two when I went on my next cruise, meaning I had to be about 25 or so and went with some coworkers. And what I particularly remember about that, I had a good time. Um, but I remember when they were getting the keys, um, to the, you know, we were getting the keys and the people asked that we need one or two keys. Um, or one, I think it was four of us in the room. Do we need one or two or three or four? How many keys? And the leader of our group said that we only needed one key because we're going to be together. And I, being the only black girl, brown girl, um, and maybe probably the only introvert, which I didn't realize I was an introvert at that time. Um, but I knew I liked being by myself and I was like, uh, I need a key. Y'all might be together the whole time, but I need to kill my own. <laughs> so, um, again, I know I might be getting into some things. <laughs> so, um, I got my own key. And I remember I remember the leader of the group was so hot with me for most of the cruise. Because 
I wanted my own key and because I wandered on my own and did my own thing and didn't hang with the group and eat with the group and all of that stuff. Um, but I did learn all about the underworkings of the ship and where the crew resided and stuff like that. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> okay, and then I remember another cruise I went on, which this was the first cruise that I had gone on, which is probably my third cruise by now. I had gone on with my girlfriends, my real girlfriends. And I remember, you know, we had such a great time, but my sisters didn't go. So then the next time I tried to convince my sister to go, but then Denise went. And then Denise enjoyed it so much, we finally convinced, I think, maybe my um, Danica to go. And maybe about the, f I don't know, fourth or fifth cruise, about the fourth cruise, we were able to convince my sister Deborah to go. I remember one cruise, it was my best, best, best girlfriends, which is uh, three of them, and then my s three sisters. And we were on a cruise. I think, well, I know it was at least two of my sisters. I'm not sure if Danica went with us, but I think Danica might have went with us too. And so I got the be my best, best friends in the world. We were on the cruise. And I remember we was, went and ate breakfast. And we ate breakfast and we sat there and laughed and talked until it became lunchtime. And then we sat there and ate lunch. We did not move from breakfast to lunch. <laughs> okay, that's not a good thing, but that's one memory that I have, one memory that we still laugh at today. Remember that time we sat and ate from, we sat there from breakfast to lunch and didn't move, sat there laughing and talking. Okay, so then um, another um, time that we went cruising, um, this was not since remember 2016. This is when we went on Harmony of the Seas. And this was the first time that I ventured off the beaten path because I'm afraid I'll go on certain excursions long as it's been, you know, um, approved, long as it's been approved of by the cruise ship. But this particular time, my daughter and I got on a horse and buggy and explored um, Mexico. I think it was Maya, Mexico. And that was my first time going off the beaten path. And I, it was one of the most memorable excursions that I've had um, going on cruises. I'm so glad that we went off the beaten path uh, where we visited a church and we visited, uh, I think, some type of museum. And uh, we w go, went around the city on horse and buggy. And I was first afraid that, you know, me and Dur Durka would break the horse's back. But, you know, the man was like, no, 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 he's strong, he's strong, he's strong. <laughs> so um, then I remember uh, this um, Danica and I, well, it started out it was supposed to be Derica and I were planning a trip to Jamaica. And no, 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 it was a cruise. Derica and I were planning a cruise, but then Derica got called to go play basketball. And so she went off to play basketball and she gave her cruise to Danica. So there was a cruise that just Danica and I went on, which is just so odd because my family and I, we do almost everything together in a group. Um, but this particular time, De Derica gave Danica the cruise and said, you could go with my mom. And Danica and I went on a cruise. And it's so funny how I found an old camera and, s and found some pictures of Danica and I's cruise. And I remember, like, I was thinking, wow, that was just so odd. Danica and I just go on a cruise together, but we had an awesome time. And then Danica found a Groupon um, for Jamaica. Yes, we went on a Groupon um vacation see tiffany haddish ain't the only one that uses groupon groupon i use groupon i use groupon to go to a jamaica vacation so um hey get at your girl i can do some commercials too about groupon so danica and i flew to jamaica and and i think we flew into montego bay and then but then we um were taxied or driven or on a, you know took a bus a scary bus ride because if anybody's been to Jamaica or any of these, uh, you know, these these uh, islands or whatever, and you know they drive differently from, I don't know where you're from, but from, from Americans. And oh my goodness, I had to stop looking out the, out the window because I was, I was getting scared. But um, we made it to Negril. So that's where Danica and I ended up in Negril and we were uh, an all-inclusive um, resort. And it was pretty decent. Wasn't the best, you know, wasn't the sandals, wasn't the 
Four Seasons, whatever. Like I've ever been to the Four Seasons. But um, it wasn't Sandals Resort, but it was pretty decent for the Groupon price. And I don't really know what the Groupon price was, but I remember we got a really good deal. And so Danica and I really enjoyed Jamaica. We, uh, Danica enjoyed the food. I do not have an international palate. I ate burgers and fries most of the time. I do not like basically any type of foreign food. I like American fare. Even here in America, that's mostly what I eat, American fare. So I don't have an international palate at all. So wherever I am, I'm gonna find something safe to eat like burger and fries. And that's basically what I'm gonna eat the whole time. Um, even on the cruise, <laughs> I'm basically eating, you know, just American fare. But Danica and I had an awesome time in Jamaica. Um, we, you know, we we were, we, you know, we did the nightlife because um, at this all inclusive, they would have something at night. Um, we went to Rick's Cafe. Oh, that was the highlight. Rick's Cafe was watching these people jump off of cliffs, looking at the gorgeous water, um, the food. Uh, that was the highlight of the trip. Also walking around, Danica and I ventured out and walked around. Um, we got some um, Festival. Festival. I think I missed, I called it um, La Fala. La Fala what, I can't even say that word. But we got some Festival on the side of the road. Um, so Jamaica was a really, really, really good, good trip. And it was probably one of my first trips that I went out of the country that was not on a cruise. And I that was my first time in Jamaica. Um, so I look forward. I really like Jamaica. Look forward to going back again. So I'm here at work. Those That's my um, travel stories. I'm sure I have plenty more because I've probably gone on about 12 or 13 cruises. We, I have a cruise coming up in December 2018. We're going on the Symphony of the Seas. And then I have another cruise in May of 2019 where I'm going back on Harmony of the Seas. Um, and it, sometime this year, July or so, I want to take my mom on her first cruise. And I'm thinking about maybe Independence of the Seas. So I absolutely love cruising. So what do you love? How do you how do you travel? Where do you travel? What do you love to do about travel? Do you have any travel stories? Share your travel life with me. Okay, you guys. Love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot to tell y'all about the time that we were in U.S. Virgin Island. Me, Denise, no, me, Danica, and Derrica was on a tour off the beaten path in this old rickety van. And the door wouldn't shut. And we had to stop by the repair shop because the door wouldn't shut.